Hello. This morning in, in the, the between the palm trees is really something special, something really uh, that I like. It is just a little bit like a jungle and it is so impressive and I just like to stand here and, and think. And actually this is also why I started this video because I have some thoughts I think they will actually help you, help you with your progression as, as an artist. Because one of the, the, the most outstanding killers for art career is actually confusion and overwhelm. Perhaps you have been there, I know I have been there, that when you are starting your art career or perhaps you are um, going from one level of your art career to the next level, there's always the problem of confusion and overwhelm. It is so hard sometimes to, 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 to tell what is your next step, what goals you uh, should, um, should set, uh, set or what values should you pursue actually in the, in the uh, art market. And to get overwhelmed is making you so much weaker because when we are overwhelmed we are losing the focus of on our actually core competence what is actually making our art uh, valuable and it can come to the point when we are so overwhelmed that we are losing a connection perhaps with our art it is making mo less sense for us to produce art because we are thinking nothing is progressing and and there are so many possibilities and we are getting overwhelmed so let me get this uh, some ideas that I have prepared for you about uh, clarity and it is something that I have figured out really early in my career by watching successful artists and how they are progressing, what values they are seeking and how these values are building uh, on top of uh, each other and it is really helpful. I have tried uh, this this approach, of course it is there are different values that you can pro, uh, uh, that you can seek in in the art world, and for every artist, it is of course a little bit different. But let me tell you about the four most outstanding when you can actually get to these values, where you can work to these values, or you can set these values as a as a goal. You have almost guaranteed a, you will see almost a guaranteed progression of you. Of your artistic career of what you are doing and of um, and the most important point it is important that you get clarity with 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 such a way of, of seeing the thing and, and setting such a goal uh, goals because you must get rid of this myth that actually you have to do everything at once and you have to proceed everything and and really chase every opportunity that is opening up and um, that money is the most important thing all this thinking in in perhaps some values that were put up on us as as important uh, through through uh, our surrounding to the friends to our perhaps network they are often a myth because the way how you are progressing in the art markets is dependent on the goals you are setting, the values that you are uh, uh, pers uh, pursuing and it is making sense to make it perhaps pursue them one after uh, the next. So let me show you very quick the most important uh, values that you can uh, seek in the, I hope you can see this, uh, in the art market. Um, it is the attention that you uh, get, the opportunities that are opening up for you, the reputation that you are building up, and in the end, the financial gain. Of course, for some artists, this is not an important uh, goal. You can, depending on your artistic vision, of course, you can change uh, them. So let me explain one after the uh, other and why you should build them up like a pyramid on which we are stepping from one point to the next. Um, in the beginning it is very important to attract the right people. So it is not a attention as we know it perhaps from, uh, from the social media. The more likes you are having or the more friends you are having, it doesn't have a meaning for your artistic career. It is the attention of the right people, of your possible future um, clients, 
of the right audience who is understanding the value of your art and of course it is all about the people that are in your potential art market with the art you are doing let me explain it uh, very quickly perhaps when you are uh, a painter it doesn't attention from someone who is from the music industry is not making so much sense so you can narrow down the attention you must seek in the market be very clear about your artistic vision the values you are offering um, with your art and for whom this attention should be and then you can just set for yourself uh, as if one of the first values you want to get from the art market the right kind of attention and this so, is something really worth uh, to work for because then you can as a next goal set of course the opportunities when you have once the attention for the right kind of people opportunities will open from people that are making uh, for which this no let me rephrase it uh, with the right kind of attention, you are becoming magnetic to the right kind of people for your artistic career. So the opportunities that are opening are of course the right kind of opportunities. They are not just by default, something that perhaps doesn't matter for you, but this is the right kind for you art actually. Uh, perhaps you are a painter, a landscape painter, and you have decided, okay, there is a bookstore and it is offering also tr um, um, books about traveling and so on. So your landscape painting would fit in. And during the exhibition of this landscape painting, there is someone perhaps that is um, interested in artistic things, and but also has something to do with uh, landscape. Let's say it is a bigger company that actually is having uh, something to do with landscape. And then this person is seeing you art of, about landscaping. An opportunity of a sponsorship for your next exhibition is opening up from this landscape company. And you art is progressing in the right direction because first it got the right kind of attention from the right kind of people and then the opportunities that are opening up are more likely to lead you in the right kind uh, in the right uh, direction and with this you are over time building up the right kind of uh, reputation so your reputation as an artist in what you are doing is developing in a certain direction that started with your um, artistic vision then with the, your artistic values that has drawn the right kind of attention for this values opportunities has opened for this and then you are standing out as an authority with your reputation for what you are doing so there is not thousand different opportunities and you are all confused and overwhelmed but you are becoming an authority through the opportunities and the attention that you are ga uh, gaining in the right field of the art you are actually doing and of course with this comes also the far more easy money gain because right now you are getting the attention from the right kind of people they are of course opening up the opportunities for you to sell your art or in uh, other possibilities to make money with your art you have the right reputation you are becoming an authority and then actually because you have built this reputation up it is your art and what you are doing as an artist your artistic skills and so on has a certain value for these people because they are interested in what you are actually doing and and it is not something by default let's say um, um, let's take the simple um, example of the landscape painter and let's say uh, this uh, landscape painter has decided to get into every opportunity and to do this and that and by default uh, he's ending up somewhere in the um, I don't know in the uh, food industry so someone who is perhaps the, the manager of a big food company of course he can be interested in, in in landscape painting but nevertheless it is not supporting what this manager is actually doing in his daily life so the landscape painting would fit into the office uh, space of, of his company with nice landscapes but nevertheless there 
he would more likely be developing uh, uh, interior a better interior with paintings that has something to do uh, uh, with food this is a very simplified uh, example but i want to show you that actually pursuing the values of the market in the right direction that is direct connected with with your own values with your own artistic uh, vision is it making possible in the end to be become really valuable and in this way to make the, a higher profit than just by trying out different and not fitting opportunities so it is all about the direction is starting with your own values that you have in your art with your own artistic vision and then progressing through the right attention to the right opportunities through the right reputation authority that you are uh, building up to the right end uh, gain of, of profit of course for every artist is different perhaps for you it is not important the financial gain but to have few goals few values that you are pursuing in the art market is actually a big advantage instead of trying everything at once start with the attention and then build it up step by step to the opportunities reputation and in the end the gain that, that your art is deserving if you have today uh, the time sit down perhaps um, and and write what your art is all about which um, attention would be useful for your art from which direction so it's not offering you art to everyone but what kind of group of people would be really interested and could in a way profit for, from what you have to offer and then think about the, the opportunities that should uh, open through the attention from these people what you are seeking what would be the right opportunity to 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 progress in the art market and what would make you an authority already what you are an authority uh, in you should write them down and in which way you would like to develop yourself as an authority and then in the end it will be become very obvious what is your end gain that you are pursuing um, is it is it money or something else perhaps you have other preferences perhaps you are seeking other values but nevertheless try them to 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 boil them down to few that you are uh, seeking and i can only um, tell you that this four values to start to seek with is the easiest way to develop your artistic career nevertheless i hope you have today the time to sit down think about it a little bit uh, perhaps it was an inspiration for you and then write down what you most important values that you are seeking in the art world could be and then to make this one thing the main thing and just let everything else go and just focus on the few things that you want to develop yourself into that are making sense for your own artistic vision and for the values that you are uh, offering i hope also to see you in the next video and i must end this video because it's starting raining right now so until then see you soon bye bye